So Jimbo, can you just give us a little rundown as to why you called us here today? Yeah, Jim, why did you call us here? Well, Ted, Chase, I brought you here to discuss a, a television show that I've been developing for a while. Go on. Yeah, go on, Jim. So there's been a lot of craze around reality television as of recent, and I think we can capitalize on this with a new spin on it. That sounds intriguing. What's the spin? Yeah, Jim, what's a spin? So I have this idea to create a show where an ex-burglar breaks into a person's home and steals everything, robs the person blind. Well, what happens next? Yeah, what's next? That's it. True reality of real things. We get guys off the street to rob other people, and then we double end our earnings by taking everything that we steal and selling it on the black market. It's a win-win. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea, Jim. Yeah, Jim, this isn't a good idea. Chase, if you don't shut the hell up, I promise you I will be robbing your house next. Wait, you're the robber? Yes, I am the robber. I'm an ex-con, Chase. You never mentioned that on your application, Jim. Yeah, Jim, you're supposed to disclose that. Chase, I promise I will. I promise. Oh yeah, well so will I. Where did you guys get guns? Okay, that's it. Jim, this was exhilarating. I can see exactly where you're coming from. This is perfect. We're going to green light this show. Yeah, Jim, we're gonna green light the show. Oh my God. I never thought I would be able to accomplish such a feat. I, I always thought that I'd, I'd be, I'd only be a burglar my entire life. But, but now look at me, I'm a burglar with a TV show. The Discovery Channel, have you ever heard of it? Well, if not, then you should go and discover it. Discovery Channel, you should go and discover it. <laughs> Back in the early 2000s, Discovery Channel had some great shows that I was fond of and would watch to educate myself. Whether that be learning about crabs and how they are the deadliest catch, but they aren't really because nobody ever died in that show catching crabs. So what I learned was it really should be titled Ocean Suck, no matter what you're catching. And then you have the almighty myth Busters that everyone loved, but but it really irked me that they didn't try and solve some real myths. Like, is the Loch Ness monster real? Is Bigfoot real? Is there a megalodon in our ocean? What about unicorns? These are the real myths that they should have busted or not busted, but instead they looked at myths like, will your water heater explode if too much pressure is built up and it gets hot? No shit. It's going straight through that roof, buddy. Now, these shows are great, but, but there is one show that specifically stands out to me, and, and I thoroughly enjoyed watching it, and that was It Takes a Thief, starring the well-known Matt Johnston and John Douglas Rainey, who starred in shows like It Takes a Thief, and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> That's all they did. They were robbed of doing any other TV shows. Rob, thief, rob, thief, rob, thief, rob, thief, rob, thief, rob, thief. Now, the premise of the show is fan. Fantastic. Supposedly, both of these stand-up individuals are ex-burglars. <laughs> and what they're trying to do is make sure that you are not robbed because mayhem is 
everywhere, and you gotta make sure you're covered by Allstate. All now, how each episode would start is Matt and John would go case a house. And they like to use a lot of burglar lingo in this show because they thought they were Ocean's freaking 11. Now, after finding the home, they would then get the homeowner to join them on a nice little experiment called testing their home security by breaking in their house and stealing everything they have. And of course, Billy Bob over there would say, that's, that's fine and dandy, that sounds amazing. Where do I sign on the dotted line? I wanna get robbed and mugged. Now, once this was done, the, the intensity of the show raced, raced to a level, a level of 15 uh, on a scale of 10, which is a lot more. Matt would then sit with the homeowner in a van and they would watch together as John would break into the house and steal everything that person has. And then the person in the van would flip out because they could not believe what they were witnessing because the stick that they used to lock the sliding glass door was foolproof. And there's no way that a burglar could get around that. Now, after doing this, Matt and John would sit down with the homeowner and add more injury to insult by basically berating them on how they suck at home security, but also getting back everything they stole from them. Just, you know, basically a big middle finger to your face. Now, of course, this would result in Matt and John helping out the homeowner beef up their home security by giving them things like cameras and locks and that's it. I mean, you would think that they would maybe give them like a booby trap or two. You know, like a, a pile of leaves that's that's covering this big hole with spikes. But no, here's a flipping deadbolt for your door. Now, the thing that really caught my eye with this show was, of course, the part where they would rob a person. I mean, they would literally go into a home owner's house, steal everything they have, but also at the same time, they would destroy everything, like mayhem. And then after doing this, they would then go back into the home, fix everything they destroyed, give back everything they stole, and at the same time, give the homeowner some sick new gear. The, the amount of money put into each episode is baffling to me. The show ran for two seasons from 2005 to 2007, and it spanned 80 episodes. And I know that there is just no way that Discovery Every channel was willing to risk any amount of money on 2x cons. Shit, I don't even know how they got the job in the first place because every job application I've ever filled out asks if you have any felonies. And if you mark yes, you're not gonna get the job. So remember, always mark no. But somehow Discovery Channel said, yeah, sure, Matt and John, two totally generic named dudes take our money, destroy homes for over 80 episodes, and give them some sick new cameras and locks at the same time. And also, don't you think this show is, say, uh, a little, a little counterintuitive? I mean, yeah, sure, you show people some home security techniques, but, but also, you show burglars? Burglar techniques. If I was a burglar, I would watch a show to be a better burglar. And on top of it, Matt and John would case the house for me while I sat in my super sweet, mint condition, 1999, all suede, lazy boy, watching It Takes a Thief on my super sick big screen. Like, how easy could it get? No more sitting in a car, all sweaty, eating a burger, looking through binoculars, listening to a cop radio, 
to case a house? No, I do it from my sweet home. And at the end of each show, they install some new home security. So as a burglar, I should be scared. But freaking Timmy over there already sucked at home security. What makes you think he's gonna be better at it now? Oh, because at the very, very end of the show, Matt and John go back to the house to try and break in. And of course they can't. Just showing how good the new home security upgrades are. That's just one flipping day in such a short time frame. And I know for a fact, him boy will be back to his slacking ways in like a month. And then I just go and rob him blind. Tim Tam over there will think it's Matt and John again, but no, this time it's a real thief and he will have the biggest mind freak ever. Now I'm sad to say, and it's obvious that this show is no longer on air. But just think for a moment, if you could, what it would look like today. I mean, we have 4K HD, 1080p, full frame, mirrorless, DSLR cameras. You would see John Boy from a flippin' mile away. But if I were to make the show today, I would for sure include booby traps. And change up the whole premise of this show and call it to catch a thief. Then film the whole thing while the thief falls into the moat that's surrounding my house and filled with alligators and film him walking down my stone pathway because I'm super affluent. But uh oh, one of those stones you just stepped on is a booby trap and you just set up the poison darts. Better watch out, Mr. Intruder. Sure, my next door neighbor, Ben, might fall into one of these traps when he's just bringing me over sugar one day, but that's the price you have to pay to be fully protected from mayhem. Also, hashtag bring back It Takes a Thief. That show was riveting.